Hi, Gary Bernier from Business Growth Guys here. And uh, today I want to take you through uh, Bing's brand new keyword planner. Yep, they've added to Bing Ads the same thing that you can find in Google AdWords, a keyword planner. They've highlighted it up on the toolbar with the word new. And then as you slide down, you'll see it's also highlighted with new. And if we hit the keyword planner, um, we can search for new keywords or we can multiply our keyword lists, uh, get the search volume and trends, performance and cost estimates. So it's similar to Google AdWords Keyword Planner. Um, it's also you know, a free add-on just like the Keyword Planner inside AdWords is, but you do have to set up your Bing Ads account just like you would with Google AdWords. Um, so let's try out the search for new. Uh, and I'm going to continue down my limousine uh, trend. Now the one thing that's a little different is the targeting. Um, I'm going to remove that and click save. It targets based upon four major regions. Uh, the United States, the UK, Canada, and Australia. So that's the level of their uh, geographic targeting. You can't dial it down to uh, city like you can with AdWords. Um, so I'm going to remove out of this the UK, Canada, and Australia. I'm going to stay with the US. I'm going to click save. The other thing that's a little different is how they define their search targeting. So all search networks, Bing, AOL, Yahoo Search, and syndicated search partners. So this means um, B, which is Bing, AOL, Yahoo Search, owned and operated only, plus Bing, AOL, syndicated search partners only, combined together. So the first one is um, both B and C, and then it's separated out into option B and C. And I'm gonna go with just the uh, owned and operated search. And again, you can put in negative keywords, you can add in filters, um, you can change your time period, uh, just like you've seen me do with the Google AdWord key planner, Keyword Planner. And if you haven't seen those videos, check them out, they're in the channel. Um, I'm gonna hit the Get Suggestions. And again, just like in Google, you get your wonderful bar graph that shows you the trending um, that you see, and very similar with over to what we saw in uh, AdWords Keyword Planner is that April's a busy month for limousine searches. Now I'm gonna click on the column for average monthly searches and you'll see that you know it, it sorts it. And then you've got limousine service and the 28 keywords that are in there, limousine and the 17 keywords that are in there. If you're really paying attention, what you'll notice is a couple of great columns. Um, number one is the competition. So medium, meaning there's, there's some competition but you're not into the high category. So cheap limo and car limo service is where people are fighting it out. And you can also tell by the pricing. Car limo service at $2.60 is a relatively high bid compared to the other prices here. Now, one of the things you may notice, there's a big difference in price between Google AdWords and Bing ads, and that's to your advantage. So if you're advertising on Bing's network, you're hitting at least 20% of the search volume. So Google's got 80, Bing's got 20. You're getting that 20% and you're getting it for a cheaper price. The other thing is if I actually had a campaign up and running for the limousine service, it would show me my ad impression share. Now, this is um, what we refer to as the share of voice and this would be calculated in this particular meaning. Meaning if there are 22,140 average monthly searches, how many of those impressions are going to you? So if you were getting 10,000, you would have, you know, a 50% share of voice on those keywords on this medium called Bing ads. Anyways, that's, that's a really interesting uh, statistic to look at how many people are seeing your ads relative to the search volume. Anyways, I hope you found this quick introduction into Bing's new keyword planner helpful and useful, and uh, I look forward to the great things that you guys do to promote your business on Bing Ads.